Welcome to the Swazzle Puppet Studio. My name is Patrick, and today we have a very special unboxing video for all of you. Uh, we have a fun box here with some great surprises, which I think you're gonna like. Um, I wanna mention to you that um, we do these um, unboxing videos, and we also do puppet building tutorials here on our Swazzle Productions YouTube channel, but also check us out on Instagram, TikTok, all the social media platforms, Facebook, Twitter, we are there, and we like to share puppet building tips tricks and techniques that we use with all of you to help raise your puppet building game. So everyone get out there and, and start creating your own puppets and please use these uh, use these tricks if you'd like. Um, I wanna open up this um, box here to um, to show you some really um, cool things that we just, um, we just got here. Um, well, let's just open it up and, and see what we have. So, um, this box has a lot of weight to it, but it doesn't mean you need to wait for me to open it. All right, so let's see what we have in here. All right, first of all, we have some brown paper. A classic good packing material here. I'm going to set this aside. We will use that to uh, send puppets and materials out to other people. And we have a giant plastic bag here full of these, which are puppet neck sleeves, also known as neck tubes. Now, uh, as you can see here, this bag is full of them. Ooh, when I feel at the bottom, there might be some leftover materials. That's always fun, too. So these come from, um, we, there's a, a woman we work with. Her name is Liza Daly, and she's an incredible costume maker. But also, she makes for us costumes for the puppets, but also she makes for us our custom-made puppet neck sleeves. Now, some people might be asking, well, what is a puppet neck sleeve and what is it for? Well, let me um, do a little demonstration here. I'll show you how we use our neck sleeves when we build our puppets and also how you can get some professionally made neck sleeves on your own for your own creations if you would like. So our puppets, um, here's an example here. This is a puppet here, a head made out of foam. And you can see there's this black tube connected to it here. That is one of our professionally made puppet neck sleeves or neck tubes. You'll notice there's a little ring of spandex here. This spandex was glued to the foam, and then this neck tube was glued to the inside of the head and then stitched all the way around like so. Now, what's nice about having a neck tube here is when your uh, puppeteer is on set performing the puppet, there's an easy way to pull the puppet on and off. Instead of like pulling on the decorative fleece or on the fur, you're actually pulling on the neck tube itself or the neck sleeve to pull that puppet onto your hand like so. It's, these uh, neck sleeves also have this nice um, opening. You'll see all of them here. There's a uh, rigoline or boning that's built into them. And all the hemming and seaming is done in such a way that there is no exposed seam on the inside. So it's a very nice and, and slick, uh, smooth feeling for the performer. Like I said, this bag is full of them. There's like 50 of them in here. I think even a little more than 50. So, um, so there's that. Now, the, the nice thing about them as well is this material that these are made out of is a one-way stretch material. So in other words, you don't want it to stretch this way because you want to be able to have the confidence you can pull your puppet on your hand and not have it be stretching and stretching um, to infinity. So this material does not stretch this way. However, it does have a stretch in this direction here. So you have a little bit of stretch here. And what that is good for is that way puppeteers with different arm sizes can feel confident that they'll be able to put the puppet on and the uh, material will accommodate their arms. So really nice, high quality. Uh, these have all been finished up on the ends here, which is good. That's a new thing that, uh, that Liza did and I really like it. And um, the seam here, it's one of these sort of, uh, it's the same seam they use for jeans where it kind of flips on the inside and it folds in on itself. So like I said, there's no raw exposed edge. Um, now someone asked, um, how we attach these uh, neck tubes or neck sleeves to the puppet um, body. It's pretty straightforward. Um, nice thing about having um, these uh, neck tubes is you can actually adjust the neck of the puppet. Puppets generally have a piece of fleece, fur, or material that is their neck that is sort of a decorative thing. And that actually hangs down below 
the opening in the the neck hole in the puppet's body. This uh, hangs down, and then it is stitched around uh, or pinned around to um, to anchor it to this in, in a stitch that allows it to stretch. But um, what what you want to do with this um, with these uh, neck tubes here is um, that decorative fl fleece um, is only for looks. The way the puppet is actually um, anchored, the head is anchored to the body is with a safety pin. So you can safety pin it in the front or safety pin it in the back. Generally, you want your puppets to have a little bit of boning, maybe that runs down the center. Safety pin kind of goes around that, gives it a nice anchor point, and that way the body won't collapse. What's nice about this is different puppeteers have different preferences for how tight they want the neck to the, the body, or maybe the look of the puppet has to be um, determined by that. And so you can adjust the length of the neck by how you adjust that safety pin, you know, the next leaf. It's pretty straightforward. So um, now some people ask us, you know, uh, how do I get one of these things? Well, these neck tubes that we have here, the neck sleeves that we have here, um, many of these will be used for our own puppets or our own um, custom creations that we, we make for other people. But also what we do is we provide these professionally made neck tubes to a company called Puppet Pelts. And if you're not familiar with Puppet Pelts, I highly recommend them. Check them out. They're on Instagram, but go to their website. They are a one-stop shop for puppet building materials. We, we don't get paid to pitch them, but we use their fur, we use their fleece, we use their foam, and we've been very impressed with their materials. And so we thought, well, maybe this is something that we could offer to them. So we started selling them our neck sleeves to make them available to everyone out there, all the puppet builders who want to get puppets made. Um, and this is a step here that, man, these are, these are really challenging to make, and it's hard to make it as, as refined as it needs to be so that the puppeteer really feels like they have a professional character. Um, how do you attach the neck sleeve to the body permanently? That's a great question. So, um, and I'll answer that right now. Um, and that's, and that is how that works. Now the question was, how do I attach these neck tubes to the body permanently? Now, different ways you can do that. Generally, we don't do that. We like to run the tube, um, through the body and then pin it in place with a safety pin front, safety pin back, walk away. You're good to go. That way it can be adjusted as needed. The head can be taken off easily. But say you don't want the head to be taken off. Say it has to be on permanently. Well, one thing you can do is you could take this and you could stitch this all the way around the opening of your foam or fleece puppet there. Or if you wanted to, you could glue this in as well into your body um, and then maybe do a little whip stitch around the edge if you needed it to be in permanently. Again, these are really meant to, just like a lot of puppet body parts, are meant to be removed. You know, puppet arms are removable, puppet legs are removable, puppet heads are removable. And um, that's just so that you can have flexibility either on set or in a live environment. If you need to change the costume quickly, pop the head off, pull the new costume on, pop the arms off, put the new costume on, very easy to go. If you need to make changes, if the, the character goes through some changes throughout your show, you can make those changes by removing elements. So generally we don't permanently attach things. In fact, even the eyeballs and the noses that we attach to our puppets are made to be um, removed relatively easily. Now sometimes they're a little more permanent but we try to avoid gluing as much as we can. Generally, we like to tape it on with some high, you know, heavy tack, um, heavy tack um, wig tape, or we'll pin them in place. Sometimes we will glue them if we know for a fact that the eyes and noses don't need to change at all. But generally, we make our stuff removable. So this is what we have here, a giant bag of neck sleeves. And I think one of the fun things here at the bottom of this bag of 50 or more, all carefully folded, so I should probably try not to mess them up, is we also have some of these materials. And this might be a little revealing so you can get a sense of what materials we use to make these. Um, obviously the materials here were used to make these. And then we have in the bottom here, Rigeline polyester boning. This is the size that we use. This was, um, it's a 10 meter length. And the size is, I don't know, but I will show you. Oh, here we go, 12 millimeter black. So this is this kind of weird plastic webbing material here that's very rigid. This is what is inside that ring at the base of their neck tubes. We also use this on our puppet bodies. The great thing about it, if you look up close, you can see it's kind of like a little uh, a checker surface there. And what's great about that is you can actually run this through your sewing machine. Um, a lot of people don't know that, but you can actually sew directly through this. So if, if this ever gets into your sewing, that's okay. It's designed to be sewn. And then we also have some leftover yardage of material, which we will definitely put this to use for our next round of puppet neck tubes. So there you go, 50 plus 
puppet neck tubes that we'll be using for our own puppets. We'll be using it for clients' puppets. And also, check um, out Puppet Pelts online, and you can purchase our quality-made puppet neck sleeves on their website. The pricing is really great. And the best thing about the pricing is it saves you time. That way you can get to making the really fun, creative stuff that you want to be doing to bring your characters to life without being stymied and stuck trying to figure out how to make a neck sleeve. So there you go. Uh, I want to thank you all for, uh, for joining. Like and subscribe. If you want to see more of these tutorials, let us know. If you have any more comments or questions, you can just type them down below. We respond to as many as we can. As I mentioned before, please follow us. We're on TikTok. We're on Instagram, we're on Twitter, we're on Facebook, and we do lots of puppet building materials. Our, our thought is we want to create the content that we wish we had when we were starting to build puppets when we were young. And so we're trying to, to, um, to teach everyone out there the different tips, tricks, and techniques that we now use, that we've learned over the years. So uh, happy puppet building, everybody. Check these out. And remember, puppetpelts.com is where you can buy your own. And uh, thank you all so much for joining. We'll see you next time on Swazzle Productions YouTube. Bye.